Hello, my name is Cherie. Today, we will be demoing the C850 that's located here in our headquarters lab in Newcastle, Delaware. This instrument can perform flash and prep purifications with both UV vis and ELSD capabilities. We will cover both separation techniques in this video and cover all of the instrument's advanced features. But first, I wanna point out how small and chic our instrument looks. This thoughtful, compact design saves valuable lab space, which is important for scientists seeking to maximize their workspace, allowing them to set up more reactions or fit other essential equipment. Like a rotavat. Let's kick things off with safety features. We have four independent channels to connect up to four different solvents for a single run. For each solvent line, there's a level sensor line, which determines the amount of solvent remaining in each bottle. Before a run, the system will determine how much solvent is required for the separation, and if another bottle of the same solvent is connected, the system will auto-switch which line is drawing the solvent to seamlessly continue purification. For waste disposal, there is a sensor that detects when a container is full to avoid any spills in the lab. On the lower portion of the instrument, the ELSD exhaust has a hose attached to reduce signal interference. Circling back around to saving space but still focusing on safety, one of the many features that contribute to the purest compact design is an integrated fume hood with an exhaust vent. The convenient exhaust allows for a hose to run from the pure to a hood or drop-down vent so all solvent fumes are properly handled, reducing potential exposure to researchers. Now that you know the Pure system is especially safe to use, let's talk about some of the other features that help maximize efficiency, accuracy, and ease of use. Dry air is required to utilize the ELSD and atomize samples going to the nebulizer. A push lock connection for air can be found on the back of the instrument. Buki offers a dry air supply which communicates with the Pure only pushing air to the system as needed eliminating the need for a nitrogen gas source. The air is also used to purge columns at the end of separation. The Pure features three convenient USB ports, two on the back and one on the side of the instrument for easy access. To gain fine control, a keyboard and mouse may connect for faster typing and navigation through the software. The USB port on the side of the Pure is great for connecting a USB storage device to transfer run data to include in lab reports. Moving back around to the front of the Pure instrument, you can see the cartridge and column holders. These are easily accessible. The flash column holder accommodates 4 grams to 330 gram cartridges. Additionally, we offer larger column holders if you wish to run larger sizes, 750 grams up to 5 kilo. You also have the flexibility of performing liquid and solid loading. The modular nature of the cartridge holder enables the orientation of columns to be switched to either go with or against gravity. The C850 features two HPLC pumps. When operating in flash mode, the pump delivers solvent at a rate of 250 mils per minute with pressure up to 50 bar. In prep HPLC mode, pumps deliver solvent at 100 ml per minute with a maximum pressure of 300 bar. Those robust pumps enable the use of columns packed with small particle size stationary phases, which run at a higher pressure. The Pure always comes with a UV vis detector covering wavelength from 200 to 800 nanometers, and the C850 also features an ELSD for additional compound detection. ELSD stands for Evaporative Light Scattering Detector. This is an integrated and patented ELSD, so you don't have to adjust or enter any parameters. It delivers a constant 30 microliters per minute flow, the lowest sample loss on the market. This detector offers a few advantages over systems relying solely on UV vis. It detects non chromophoric compounds, enabling the collection of samples that may be overlooked. It can be used as a semi quantitative technique. It's indicative of relative quantities, where a high signal indicates a large amount of compound eluding. It provides valuable information on the ratio of the compounds in the sample. The flow splitter and ELSD nebulizer are both located on the front of the instrument. The nebulizer can be easily removed and cleaned. Here is how it works. Whatever eludes out of the cartridge will go into the valve. 
then will split into two parts. Most of the solvent will go through the UV Viz detector, and a fraction of the volume goes to the nebulizer for the ELSD. The solution is mixed with gas flow to form a dispersion of droplets. The mobile phase evaporates, leaving dried particles in solvent vapor. The sample particles pass a laser light in a flow cell. The particles scatter light, causing a change in signal at the detector. Next, I want to show you the fraction collector. You can see we have a door where you place your racks. Each collection rack has an RFID tag which automatically scans upon loading to notify the system of the collection vessel being used. This determines the maximum volume of each fraction collected, but you could dictate smaller collection volumes depending on your application's need. This nice auto feature eliminates any human error and offers less clicks on the software. There is also an RFID reader on the top of the instrument behind the right side of the display for scanning tagged cartridges. Once the cartridge is scanned, the system updates with the stationary phase, size, and flow rate, and will show the loading range of sample as well as if the cartridge has been used previously. Buki offers flash cartridges in a wide variety of sizes covering different stationary phases, such as silica, C18, alumina, amino, and diol. The cartridges come in various particle sizes and geometries, irregular and spherical. For everyday separation, we recommend 60 micron or 40 micron range. And for complex separation, we offer 15 microns. Our PrEP HPLC columns are filled with high quality silica and enable the performance of high resolution separation. Easily accessible from 4.6 to 70 millimeter inner diameter and phases such as silica, C18, C18AQ, and C4. Our consumables line enables you to choose the best flash or prep HPLC column that best suit your purification needs and is compatible on all competitive systems. In addition to the Pure's compact design, Buki offers a solvent platform which can accommodate four four liter solvent bottles on the top of the instrument, freeing up even more space. As you can see, the Pure instrument is easy to operate and so is the software. All the important variables are visible on the main screen. There are two main ways to get the gradients, either by inputting the steps in a gradient table or by dragging various points to change the flow of different solvents. For complex separation, you can even change solvent partway through a run. If you have a new mixture where you need to develop a separation gradient, the Navigator software can provide a great starting point based on TLC runs or LC data. To use TLC runs, perform two runs at different solvent ratios and record the RF values. Input the percentage of the solvents and the RF values for each plate, select a desired cartridge, and watch the Navigator software effortlessly develop a gradient for your precious sample. The UV Viz detector allows strict collection based on up to four different wavelengths. The UV scan, also known as photodiode array, PDA, will measure the full range of detector and can either monitor elements or also be used to trigger sample collection. The sensitivity of the UV Viz and ELSD may be adjusted, more sensitive to improve recovery or less sensitive to improve separation. If you only want to collect fractions based on one detector, you may uncheck one of the detectors to either monitor or off. In addition, you have full remote accessibility to the software from your phone or laptop by downloading the VNC Viewer app. Now that I've shown the instrument's features and software, it's time to split. My sample beak. There are two different ways to introduce sample to the system, liquid injection or solid loading. After entering the gradient and pressing play, the system will prompt you to name your sample and select the type of sample loading. Then the system prompts to prime lines. If the solvent lines have been primed recently, you can skip ahead to column equilibration. Now that the column is equilibrated, the system says it's time to load my sample and press play. For solid loading, I will use the solid loader with this pre-made sample provided by Switzerland, which is an absorbent of silica and contains three compounds, 
cholesterol acetate, methyl parben, and 4-aminobenzoic acid. If I were to select liquid loading, I would inject my dissolved sample in this one-way injection port. Now the purification run has ended. You can open the file to view the chromatogram data. You can match the color-coded fraction and peaks. You may also view a detailed UV vis scan graph to observe the photodiet array scanning and the UV profile of each individual peak. You can also easily export data by clicking on the export USB. If you're switching between flash and prep HPLC, change the column holder and install your column, enter your column name, fluorate, and design your gradient. Inject your sample by using the lower lock syringe. Any additional liquid larger than the loop size will drain into the waste. We offer various sizes of prep HPLC loops, five mils up to 50 mils. Fortunately, setting gradient, checking fractions, and reviewing your chromatograph stays exactly the same as I've previously shown in flash mode. And that's it, pure simplicity for separating your most complex samples.